is a month of salawat. Salat, salat and salat have a particular meaning to it. It's not just that we're sending prayers. What does is, what is a prayer mean of the Prophet What does salam, what does a greeting mean of the Prophet, to the Prophet So in the maqam, Allah Azza wa Jal, when we send salat upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah sends the salawat upon him, Allah raises his rank. And when it's the angels, they are, they are exonerating him, they're exalting him. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the believers who are making dua for him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's a difference between what exactly those meanings are. Then we said salam on him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is Rahmah. It is dua for Rahmah on him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's the greatest Rahmah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it's also in, from our maqam, from our perspective, when we are saying salam upon him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we are making a covenant with him. We are making him a promise that he is going to have salam, he's going to have solace in us, that we're not going to contravene his commandments, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, Imam al-Sha'arani, Imam al-Sha'arani, Allah ta'ala anhu has his book called Nabi Ayyad al-Imam al-Qudsiyah, right, in the Bayani al-Hud al-Muhammadiyah. And he lists out about 400 or 400 to 500 points that we have made a general covenant with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by merely the, merely the fact that we are Muslim. Every time we make salam on him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we reaffirm those covenants with him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everyone starts with, Ukhida alayhi wa al alam bi rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have a general covenant with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we do not contravene his sharia. That we be people who, when we have love for him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have ma'rifa on him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we can't do anything but obey him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is no action we can do except that there is a way to do it in line with the sunnah of him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That he, this is from his qasai sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that every action that he did, whether it was an action of, of ibadat, mu'adalat, whether there was an action of peace, whether it was an action of war, he had to be guided towards sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The previous, previous prophets didn't come with that. And the hijrah, the hijrah in our, in, from our perspective is not over. That the sahaba radiallahu alayhi wa sallam hijrah from Mecca to Medina, but he said, "For man cannot hijrah to the Allah and Rasuli, the hijrah to the Allah and Rasuli." And Imam Al Nawawi says that there's eleven hijrahs or seven hijrahs, right? The seven different types of hijrahs, the eleven different types of hijrahs, and one of those hijrahs is making hijrah, emigration, abandoning those actions that are displeasing to Him, so Allah said, displeasing to our Lord. So this is a month of salawat. So when we do that salawat, we remember this covenant that we made with Him, so Allah alayhi wa sallam, to abandon, to make hijrah of that which is displeasing to Him, so Allah sallam, that when we arrive at Him, so Allah sallam, and take drink from His hand, inshaAllah ta'ala, may Allah make us of people who drink from His hand, so Allah alayhi wa sallam, that we are people who are known to be the muhajiri from, that, from the things of our nafs which is not appropriate. Right, the, that those things that he sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not pleased with, and his Lord sallallahu alaihi his Lord azza wa jal was not pleased with. Our Lord azza wa jal was not pleased with. I'm remembering that our Salaf the Rashid, he said uh, he mentioned the tree that he walked into Allah said, Imam Al-Busiri says, Imam Al-Busiri says, جاءت في دعوته الأشجار ساجدة تمشي إليه على ساق بلا قدر that the tree came to, came to him walking, prostrating. It was walking on legs that had no feet, and we have feet. So we have a higher we have there's more of a responsibility of us to uphold that covenant. If that tree that had no feet would uphold its covenant with him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we have more of a responsibility to uphold that. So that whatever it is, that this month we should make it a month that we should look, what is one thing that I can remove? What is one prohibition that I can remove from my life? That I have engaged too much in this prohibition, I need to remove it from my life so that I am someone who engages in that covenant with him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is true to my covenant. And then what is one action that I can implement that allows me to affirm that covenant that I have with him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I don't want to hold the pizza hostage anymore any longer. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam. Subhanahu wa sallam. Subhanahu wa sallam. 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 W